Hi, my name is Abbas Utkirov. I am a senior specialist in blended learning at the LRC. In this lesson, I will provide you a list of criteria to check the reliability and the credibility of information using CRAP test. The CRAP test is a handy checklist to use when evaluating a web resource or any other resource. The test provides a list of questions to ask yourself when deciding whether or not a source is reliable and credible enough to use in your academic research paper. The CRAP standards for currency, relevance, authority, accuracy and purpose. So let's look into each criterion one by one. Currency is a timeliness of information. In order to identify timelines, the following questions should answer. When was the information published? Look for a date on the article. You can usually find it next to the title or author name. Sometimes the date is at the bottom of the article. If you can't find a date there, look at the URL. Often on a new created websites or blogs, the URL will be formatted to include the year, month and day that a specific article was posted. How recently has the website been updated? To see how recently a website has been updated, look at the very bottom of the page in the footer area. Usually there will be a year or range of years showing how long the site has been existed. If the site is no longer being updated, you will be able to see what year the site was last updated. Another way to check this is to click on the links on the page. Are they functional? If not, then that's a pretty good indication the site is no longer active and the information it contains may not be accurate. Does your topic require current information or will older sources work as well? Think about your topic. Is it in the field that changes drastically over time like a science? Your answer to that question decides how current your sources need to be. For example, if you are writing a paper about world oceans, you get your information from a website that was last updated in 1999. You might have a section that there were four oceans in the world. But if your information is current, you have known that FIFS news world ocean. The Southern Ocean was approved in 2000. The second is relevance. Relevance is the importance of the information for your needs. In order to identify relevance, you should explore following questions. Does the information relate to your topic? Who is the source intended? Is the information at an appropriate level? not too elementary or advanced for your needs. Did you check a variety of sources before deciding this is one you will use? For example, if you are looking for information about impact of COVID-19 on human health, an article about impact of COVID-19 on human rights may be interesting, but it will not answer your question. Third is authority. Authority relates to the source of the information and your source should provide answers to the questions. Who is the author, publisher, source or sponsor? What are the author's credentials or organizational affiliations? Is the author qualified to write on the topic? Is there any contact information such as publisher or email address. Look at the title on the site is from a source you are familiar with. Look at the URL again. Does it match the title? Usually reputable websites will have given address that is the same as the name of the site. Web address and with the site that ends .go is a government on site and .edu is used only for institutions of higher education like community colleges and universities. The information found on sites that and .go or .edu can generally be trusted. Sites that and .com, .net or .org can be owned by anyone. So don't assume they are okay with that verifying first. The author can be found next to the title of the article. You should also look for the author's bio. 
Many reputable publications will give short explanation of who the author is and what his or her credentials are. It can often be found at the bottom of the article or by clicking a link from his or her name. Fourth is accuracy. Accuracy is the reliability, trustfulness and correctness of the content. You can identify accuracy by asking where does information come from? Is the information supported by evidence? Has the information been reviewed or refereed? Can you verify any of the given information in another source? Does the language used seem unbiased and free of emotion? Are there spelling, grammar or typographical errors? In this example, the author doesn't just claim but also provides references to relevant research in the field. The subscriber databases of White LRC provides access to information that is safe, accurate, current, validated, copyright clear and organized. Because the sources have been checked for accuracy, reliability by publishers and the license for distribution in electronic format. And the final one is purpose. Purpose relates to the reason for the information. Identify purpose through questions. What is the purpose of information? Is it to inform, teach, sell, entertain or persuade? Do the authors, sponsors make their purpose clear? Is the information fact, opinion or propaganda? Does the point of view appear objective and impartial? Are there political, ideological, cultural, religious, institutional or personal biases? In this article, author clearly stated that she is going to provide a case for adding new literacies into the writing curriculum. The index citation showed that the author is providing evidence for her argument, not just stating her own opinion. Let's imagine we are searching for information on a topic academic integrity and we have found a scientific article. Now we should decide whether it matches and are we going to use this source or not for our assignment. In order to identify currency, we should look at the date of publishing on the top or at the bottom. We need actual information so it passes the currency. Second is relevance, as the topic is academic integrity and the key words are relevant to our topic, which means it passes the relevance. Next is authority. We can look at the author's bio that he works at the specific organization which means that the author is an expert in that field. Next is accuracy. Author doesn't just explain his point of view, but also supports them with the references of researchers in the sphere he is doing a research. The last is purpose. As we can see, an author clearly provides an information in the abstract what is this a paper about and also provides another author's statements. Moreover, an author provides evidences from social contact perspective in order not to be biased. It means that the author's purpose is not selling, persuading or advertising.